We're called to raise up a what? Can't hear you. Because nothing is truly yours until you understand it. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Some, some of y'all just sitting there like a bump on the log. I receive. Some of y'all sitting like a bump on the log. Y'all know why? You think you got to feel it. When I got to train you, it's by faith. So for all of those Pastor, how does God speak to us? A lot of times, he'll speak to your heart. Well, what about Jeremiah 17, 9? That's prior to salvation. The heart is desperately wicked. Who can know it? That's Old Testament. He said, I'll give you a new heart. That's what he did, John. When I went to church early on, Prayer Tower Church of God in Christ, I didn't have a new heart. But I had some nice new shoes. Anybody remember the Zodiacs? Forty and over. Had on me a pair of Zodiacs, just as rotten in the church. But my junior year, when my nature changed, it didn't mean I didn't try to go back to other stuff. It don't mean I don't get temptations now. But I have a heart to repent and a heart to keep moving forward. Yes. Pastor, how do you know he speaks to the heart? Moses, when he turned 40 year, years old, it entered into his heart to go visit his brothers. David, the prophet told David, man, everything going good. He said, David, do whatever's in your heart. David said, cool, I want to build God a house. God told the prophet that night, go back and tell David he's not going to build a house. got too much blood on his hands, but he's to get the provisions together and his son going to build the house. So I learned from David, do what God tell you in your heart until he tells you something differently. Some of y'all got to move in 2024. You too stuck. You got to move. So when he told me walk on the team, I didn't tell my parents because I was the last child on their dime paying for my education. And I'm already getting ready to graduate with my accounting degree in three years. But when God speaks, this is the foundation. When I, I, I'm really reinforcing what I'm saying to you because as I build on this, foundation is what God tells you. Foundation is when the Lord tells you what to do. That's why you should ask him about everything. He said, apart from me, I could do, apart from me, you can do nothing. So we need to do what? Constantly. David said, should we pursue? Some of us doing too many things without consulting the master. Yes, yes, right. right? He told me, Paul, he says, he put on my heart, I didn't hear, Thus thou, Nisa, as the Southern University, thou will walk on the football team. I didn't hear nothing. It just had a nudge, go walk on the football team. So I go. My parents didn't know. And not that you shouldn't consult your parents. I knew I wasn't doing anything that was going to mess up my education. All right? So let's make sure we're doing this in context. So I go, and the coach gives me the worst equipment. Here's the awesome thing about when you own a foundation. It doesn't matter if they give you the worst equipment. And, and my teammates hated me. Because they had already been practicing five weeks or two a days. And the position I was going out for, it was one of the guys that had been practicing with him for five weeks. The coach was trying to replace the guy. You're going to have just so happen this year. Y'all know what that means? In other words, it just so happened that the position I was going out for, the coach was trying to replace him. It just so happened. You're going to have some of those this year. What are you going to have? These are quotations. Like, it just so happened the position I was going out for, the coach was trying to replace the guy. It just so happened. So was the coach trying to replace the guy, or was it I was walking on the foundation? See, if you walk on the foundation, you don't have to worry about getting anybody manipulating brown nose, none of that. I used to think Christianity, I didn't want to be a Christian. I thought you'd be soft. I thought your people had to walk all over you. I found out that ain't Christianity. That's religion. 
I, I learned you could be bold. I learned I can dominate on the football field. I learned I can witness to people without having my Bible open in a locker room. Why? Because I mess around and I start walking on this foundation. Pastor T, Pastor T, come on up here. Because when you get married, now, now brothers, oh, I got a word for the brothers. If your wife don't want to follow you, have you been going in the right direction lately? Our sisters, our sisters strong now. This, this ain't the 50s. This ain't the 60s. They're not just going to follow you and you keep hitting a brick wall. You broke and every adventure you tell them go through. I'm telling the women right now, you don't keep following a blind joker. You can say married, but don't keep following a blind person now. I, I'm, I just feel, I just sense right now, I, I don't know why I see, I see, I, I hear some, some old school ladies say, you know, you, you got to be careful saying all that kind of stuff. <laughs> the apostle Paul say, follow me as I follow Christ. If your husband abusing the children, you need to get the children somewhere safe. Look at somebody say, I'm not a wimp. I'm not a wimp. Brothers, we got to step it up, man. They got some strong women. I hear people say, like, well, you, well, you know God ain't put women in the pulpit. What? Have you been looking at the men lately? God will work through whoever's willing to work with him. What? People be coming up with all what they think. How you? It's over 8 billion people put all of our brains together. You wouldn't get a thimble of God's genius. So you mean to tell me in your 70 years on this earth, you figured it out? And he's called the ancient of days? He will work through whoever he needs to work through. It's about God's agenda. Brothers, if you won't step up, woman king will. All right, hold on. Let's get a balance, ladies. Let's get a balance, ladies. Got to watch the ladies because y'all just step in and I'm coming through, kicking all through. Pastor T and I got agreement. Now, I walked on, ended up starting my fifth game. How many of y'all know that was God? Now, here's the awesome thing. If you think you're hearing from God and it don't work out, have enough sense to stop fabricating and just say, you know what? I, I missed him. Y'all got it? Because when God is doing something, you ain't got to kick doors open. By the time you get there, it opens. I told you guys this. A lot of y'all don't believe me. A lot of y'all don't believe me. Pastor Tim, stand up. And, and when you stand up, just face right here. And I want everybody on my row, on the end of the row right here to do, just like Pastor Tim. Step out in front of the chair right there, like Pastor Tim. Right there, right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now, everybody step. I want your legs right in front of your chair right here. Everybody. Y'all got it right there, just right there, right there. There we go. In front of the chair right there, in front of the chair right there. So one of the number one things you got to do is be able to not only hear the Lord's instructions, but do exactly what he tell you. Okay, I need y'all to do it now. You, right in front of the chair, come on, right here, come on, come on. Quick, 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 quick. Right in front of the chair, right in front of the chair, right in front of the chair. It's very important that you follow the instructions. Right there, right there, come on, come on. Come on, you give me right here, you give me right here. This would surprise me. When you do what God says, I want you to think, I want you to imagine all of these people, Pastor, you right here. I want you to imagine all these people are frozen. All of them are frozen. But every one of them, God has already touched to help you. So, in faith, God starts off small, right? So for me, he started with me picking up trash. He still does it today. Like if I see trash, I sense I'm supposed to pick it up. 
And sometimes I'll be fussing with God. Y'all got it? But how many of y'all know I stop fussing with him? Because it's a part of my training. Pick it up. Ain't no big deal. I want to get used to small stuff. Nobody's watching. Y'all got it? That's how he trains you. Nobody watching small stuff. Everybody got it? So I walked on the team and the rest is history. Y'all got that? Southern University, the rest is history. Interesting thing. I was in Baton Rouge yesterday. I don't even think I told you this, Pastor T. I was in Baton Rouge and I, was, I attended a conference for like three days. I end up staying in Baton Rouge instead of New Orleans. At the hotel I stayed in in Baton Rouge, it just so happened. Southern University's coaching staff was in that hotel recruiting. They were recruiting. They were recruiting. Just so. But if you're not prayed up, you're going to miss a lot of your just so happens. You won't even recognize it. That's why you got to be prayed up. The reason why I got these people here is because it's for young people. You have to understand that God has already created people. You got favor on your life. These people have already been created to help you. And they don't want nothing from you. You got it? They've been created to do what? Help you. But they don't come alive till you get there. Come on now. Come on. Y'all got it? You got it? They, what did I say? They are already created to do what? Help you. But they don't come alive until you get there. You got it? Now, you may have a nasty attitude. And you never develop so you don't get there. But you'll constantly get there as you mature in God. So, I walked on the team. We know the rest is history. And then, Pastor T saw some other victories, right? And then we decided to start this church, right? I would not have started this church if Pastor T wasn't in agreement. Y'all got it? Now, now don't get me twisted. Worst case scenario, if God tells me to do it, I'll do it. But how many of y'all know it's so much better when you're in agreement? Everybody got it? Come on, come on, stay with me. Y'all stay with me now. Come on. 